Hi friends, welcome to my channel where I will uh, discuss about mostly about technical stuff and particularly I will start this series with uh, IoT, uh, Internet of Things and related knowledge and concepts I would like to share with the general whoever is uh, aspiring to go into Internet of Things field for them. So uh, see, uh, once we say Internet of Things, what does it comprise of? First of all, it comprises of Internet. And what is Internet? It's a way of, it's a medium of communication. It's a way, it's a medium which connects the computers or it connects all people ar around the world and it gives us the flexibility to talk to each other, connect with each other like that. So in this, today I am mostly going to focus on uh, uh, on, on communication aspects of uh, Internet of Things. So see, uh, as I have already introduced uh, about MQTT, which is uh, Message Query Tele Telemetry Transport, and um, I have given some glimpse of some databases as well, which is used in Internet of Things, which is uh, we have used uh, MongoDB. So, and uh, as you might already know, there are like uh, different, so many different kinds of uh, communication options available for us that it is becoming very much challenging to uh, to decide which communication technology should be used when and where so given so much so many uh, you know communication options available for us i would i would be not wrong if i will say it is basically internet of communications rather than internet of things right yes believe me one of the major challenge in iot implementation is the choice of communication technology and we have designed already uh, some of the system uh, we have seen in our last uh, presentation last videos and uh, in 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 which i have you know sent the data whatever uh, practical things i have shown i have used wi-fi communication for that but what are the all the uh, now all the different types of communication uh, methods available to you so uh, if i will uh, like i will tell it like in a brief way what are the different communication technologies available so it is uh, lora long range wi-fi wireless fidelity nbiot narrow band internet of things then our 3g 4g 5g right in our phones bluetooth low energy this band works on bluetooth low energy then zigbee z-wave rfid hell number of number of uh, you know protocol uh, protocols are there and when to choose what this is all about the 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 skill of architecting an iot solution so you know uh, whenever we talk about a solution in an internet of things then our choice of network protocol starts from the very you know beginning of the data source where we are generating the data and where we are trying to send it right so in that way our choice of technology should start from there itself in technology in uh, in, in, in in network communication also the choice of technology apart from that the protocol particularly also plays a ma very major important role once i say protocol it could be uh, the in as i already discussed mqtt uh, mosquito uh, message query telemetry transport 
uh, then at the transport layer whether it is using tcp or udp tcp stands for transmission control protocol udp stands for user datagram protocol what is the difference between that and uh, then in, in in internet it is http versus in M iot it is mqtt what is the difference between that then mqtt and amqp wh why when we should use what and why right then uh, 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 once we design a solution in iot it is not like uh, a to b the data generally once we deal with a, with a very big uh, you know kind of uh, layers like different layers are there it starts from sensors then it goes to gateway then from gateway it goes to server then from ser from server or you can say cloud and then maybe an edge also comes edge we will see later but uh, this is how uh, so you know uh, i am telling in terms of the how the solution need to be designed and from where it starts so as i say let's say let's see a simple example of this band okay this band works on bluetooth low energy right it's a bluetooth based device so how it is transferring data to my phone and how my phone data is going to some server from there maybe they are detecting my uh, steps uh see steps uh, you know uh how many steps I am taking per day, what is my sleep pattern and from that they can derive my lifestyle as well. But this whole uh, you know system of uh, data communication from starting from sensor to phone to cloud to analytics and coming back to the user. It's a, it's a, in this whole you know pipeline there are number of communication technology first from my band to phone it goes through Bluetooth from phone to server it goes through Wi-Fi or cellular network whatever is available from my phone so basically an app is there for this band in the phone and that and that uh, app is receiving the data through Bluetooth and it is uh, maybe in raw format or maybe it is doing some calculations there itself before sending it to their server that band server that company server and from there it is being stored it is being analyzed and maybe it is being derived in some analytical format to come up for some maybe results like that so hope uh, you have got a very very high level of understanding of what is internet of communication or internet of things or communication technologies used in internet of things is in the next video we will see more in detail for a particular technology thank you